Hello, my soccer universe. Well, it has not been exactly my midweek, which is already reflected by the choice of jerseys. Uh, I love this Arsenal jersey, but I was wanting to wear different jerseys. Didn't happen. So Arsenal it is. It is, a, as I said, a great jersey. Um, we'll talk a lot about cup action. Uh, since Serie, not Serie A, the Coppa Italia, both games got cancelled kind of last minute because of, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, we let only in people from who live in around Turin, so from the Piedmont region. Uh, that was then what the Italian FA said after the government said to go, go ahead. And then the uh, local government says, no, we cannot discriminate people like that because uh, just because your ID card says that you live in Piedmont uh, doesn't mean that you. You know, something doesn't connect. Does it, uh, it, it doesn't mean that you have never been in Lombardy and so on. So they cancelled that one, and then uh, even the Napoli Inter game got cancelled, maybe because of fear. Yeah, we cannot have people for Inter fans travel down south and even carry the virus south or whatever. Whole mess. This was the biggest disappointment for me because I was really looking forward to those Coppa Italia uh, ties. But I add in two cup competitions today that we have not really talked about at all, but there were quite some interesting results in there. But we will start in with the Copa del Rey, where I actually saw uh, the highlights of Mirandes uh, Real Sociedad. Real Sociedad got the goal, and then it always looked more that Real Sociedad is closer to the 2-0 than Mirandes is to the equalizer. They had their chances, but the miracle run ends, and Real Sociedad got through. And then Granada, I saw in the last few minutes of that, that one with no goal score, but Granada had a 2-0 lead late in the second half, which would have been enough uh, with Athletic Club holding only a 1-0 lead. And then uh, Athletic Club, I think, just had 10 minutes before the end or something like that, gets the 2-1, and they managed to hang on uh, to that one. And so we have a great final between Real Sociedad and Athletic Club Bilbao. Uh, basically... Basque Derby in the final. I think it's played in mid-April uh, in Seville. So that sounds to be a great one. In the FA Cup, we had round five, uh, or round of 16, where Arsenal had no uh, trouble uh, beating Portsmouth. I actually saw a little bit of the game while I was uh, doing some work. 2-0, uh, the big one, Chelsea, Liverpool. Liverpool not feeling a full-strength size, so aside. Uh, they had the chance, but it was overall Chelsea who uh, go on 2-0. West Brom, Newcastle, 3-2. Um, then Reading, Sheffield United was a 2-1 win for Sheffield United. Manchester City, waste chance after chance after chance after, after chance. Uh, but they get the 1-0 win over Sheffield Wednesday. The big talking point probably was uh, Spurs against Norwich. Spurs had the lead, but from what I, I could gather... Uh, Norwich always had the better of the game and they get their uh, late equalizer through Cantwell. Um, Spurs, I think, already could have made it 2-1 even, but uh, it goes into overtime and to penalties where Tim Krul saves uh, two penalties. And then, of course, Eric Dyer going into the stands. I don't know what the fallout was from that, but seemingly there's a line to be crossed. Uh, yes, you want to take care of your family, it seems, but... <laughs> Leicester City, Birmingham City was one way football for most of the time, but it took Leicester uh, until very late to finally get the breakthrough. Uh, I think, was it Ian Nacho? Uh, I don't know now for sure. Uh, it ends 1 0 for Leicester, and Manchester United has also no trouble with Derby County winning 3 0, which means that in the quarterfinals it's an all Premier League affair. Sheffield United, Arsenal, not an easy game for Arsenal. Leicester City, Chelsea sounds good. Newcastle, Manchester City, I think it's pretty foregone conclusion. Norwich City, Manchester United also. Um, depending on the draw, I could see well a uh, Manchester Derby in the final. I saw next to nothing from the Germany. I read about the epic penalty shooter between Saarbrücken and Düsseldorf, where Saarbrücken pulls the up to the keeper, saving five penalties, one in regulation and four in the penalty shooter. Epic shooter. Schalke Bayern, yeah, um, I think Kimmich gave Bayern the win. Uh, it was mostly notable for the terrible corner kick that Thomas Müller was taking. Uh, look it up. Worst penalty, uh, worst uh, corner, corner kick ever. 
uh, was not a good one. I was expecting a uh, protest against Hop. Nothing like that really happened. I think there was just one banner upheld, but nothing really there. Leverkusen Union 3 1. Didn't see anything in Frankfurt. Uh, beats Bremen 2 0. The draw is yet to happen. In the Coupe de France, I actually saw the highlights of Lyon PSG. And if you look here at the result, it, uh, you say utter destruction of Lyon. No, this was a very even game where Lyon even took the lead. Uh, PSG then. I think through Mbappé could uh, equalize uh, quickly. P um, it was 1-1 one, one at the half and it was looked even like Neymar is a little bit injured. Nothing like that. And then in the 60th there's a penalty given. Uh, gives also yellow red to uh, the Lyon player who, who made the foul. And from that moment it fell all apart. I think Mbappé had three goals and it ends 5-1. Saint Etienne Ren. Ren had a lead uh, midway through the first half. Uh, Saint Etienne can equalize just before half time. And in uh, stoppage time, Saint Etienne gets the winner. So it's PSG against uh, Saint Etienne uh, in the final, uh, which is played on April 25th. I think it's the same uh, as the uh, Copa del Rey final. Honestly, it's all PSG in that. A little bit league action uh, that happened also during midweek because on Monday evening uh, and Tuesday we played in Liga Nosh. Uh, it is notable that Porto, who is actually under investigation, uh, get a 2 0 win at Santa Clara and Benfica again only a 1 1 against this Moira Renze. So Benfica hitting a rough sketch of form. Family Cow gets another win over Sporting. Uh, so that is a result also of note. But through these two results, actually, but let's say three results, we have Porto now taking the lead for the first time in a long time in Portugal, uh, now one point ahead of Benfica. Um, Braga is way behind and then Sporting cannot keep track with that. Family Cow is now three points behind Sporting. Uh, speaking of bad patch of form, in the Dutch Cup, the KNVB Becker, KNVB Becker, Utrecht beats Ajax 2-0. What's wrong with Ajax at the moment? Really doesn't look good. And I'm wondering whether in the league Feyenoord can do something. They beat Nuck 7-1. That's destruction though. Final of course now is also Feyenoord against Utrecht. Remains to be seen when this will be played. Um, yeah, the other cup game that I saw fully was yesterday evening. salzburg Lask. Uh the winner was about to face Austria Lucerna from the second division team. That's, I think, uh, yeah, upper third there. But this semifinal was for the title. And yeah, I don't want to say much. Salzburg was for most of the time the better team. Had more chances. Last category goal ruled out for offside. Correctly so. Um, it was mostly a ping pong game where the ball was changing back and forth a lot. Uh, a lot of... Um, Energy needed to be in there and you saw it. the Salzburg team is not as fit as the last team. The Salzburg team was cramping like 10 minutes before uh, the end like crazy. And then yeah, they use all their professional tactics to get the win. Lask had a big chance at the end. But overall I have to say too many. Uh, Salzburg was overall the better team. They paid dearly for that because Hang Chi Wang I think got a muscle injury. Uh, probably might be out for, for for a while. So yeah, and the other thing is, was this is the point of the stadium this time was not as full. Uh, it almost was last fans, Salzburg fans, rather even. And then another cup competition, uh, the Greek Cup, and only because we have Pauk against Olympiakos was a crazy start. Uh, it was all the first leg. Olympiakos after I think eight minutes was uh, two nil up. After 12, it was 2-2, and Pauk gets the win midway through the um, second half. Ike beats Aris 2-1, but there are the return legs, so we have to see how that goes. Also, the punishment for Pauk has been given. It's minus 7 points. Let's see what the appeals process will go. But basically, that hands the Greek title to Olympiakos. Oh, well. Uh, let me know what you watched uh, during the midweek, um, fill me in, you know, I on honestly didn't watch much, uh, I was all geared up for the um, it uh, Coppa Italia, then I decided, okay, I should this to take a good rest, because I overdid myself uh, <laughs> preparing uh, for uh, work uh, here, so yeah, I didn't see much, I watched some highlights. 
Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.